Jacobs Without View TV, stay tuned for some of the interviews with the stars, celebrities, the questions you'd have, I'm going to ask. Take care. This is such a historic time in so many ways, mm -hmm. one of which being the Supreme Court's decision on marriage equality no, very soon. Brought that up. You're the first to bring that up. Well, I'm a political person. <laughs> You know. That's kind of amazing, actually. But I'm that wondering. Down this line, and that's the first time someone's brought wow. it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a hot issue, <laughs> and is. I think it has glad has been part of ushering in a, a level of acceptance in that way. But do you think that the work that Glad has done has been part of how we've gotten this far politically? Absolutely. I think that when you move culture and you change hearts and minds, you're softening the ground for policy. What I think where we are right now is that you know, policy is potentially outpacing culture, hearts and minds. So we're really focused on, on that at GLAD, about accelerating acceptance in the country so that more people are open to LGBT people than ever before, especially with the potential policy changes down the road. Now, assuming marriage equality goes the way we all wanted to in June, what's next? Well, I, th I really think it's about accelerating acceptance. I mean, I don't know if you saw the story of the cu the gay couple in Chelsea who got beat up on Tuesday night. So we've got legal marriage here. We've got policy protections here, yet people are still getting beat up in, in Chelsea, New York. So I think we have a lot of work to do about pushing acceptance forward and making sure people understand or helping people understand that, that who the LGBT community is yes. and opening hearts and minds. Absolutely. You know, in alignment with that, I'm a counselor, I do a lot of health education, right. and I try to help people learn about PrEP, about pre-exposure yeah. yeah. prophylaxis, given that HIV incidence is so high amongst young men between the ages of 13 right. and 24. Do you think this applies to something like that as well, in terms of moving acceptance or helping people learn how media can be used in that way? For PrEP, For you mean? Prep yeah, you know, we just came out with an HIV playbook, HIV AIDS playbook, for the media to re-educate them on where AIDS and HIV is. Mm -hmm. Because I think it, it, it's, it has become sort of a, a backseat issue when it really shouldn't be. And it's really important. And so we are actually working with the media and journalists to do, and Hollywood, to have more storylines with people who are HIV positive mm -hmm. and understand and, and integrate PrEP into it so more people understand understand. So we're working very hard on that. And I, yes, I agree with you on that. Great. I'm working on it too. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thank nice you so you. much. Thank, Thank you, you both so much. Thank, oh, yeah. you. Thank you.